Hey Tubers, welcome back for another project. And as you know, I want to build a circuit to clean up AC power to run an LED headlight. And I happen to find this board. This is from up at P&T Surplus in the Sopus, New York. And it has a couple of the components that, that I really, really want to build the circuit. I got all of $5 invested in this. And what I'm after is this capacitor right here. And there's a couple of diodes right next door to it. So I want to get these out. Right? So there's, right there is the capacitor. And there are the diodes. So, how am I going to do that? Well, you could get out a solder iron and desolder stuff and so forth. But I don't plan on using this board for anything. I just want a few components off of it. And quite honestly, if I get these components off of it, I've uh, more or less got my $5 worth. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use a Dremel tool with a... Uh, I don't know, a disc blade on it. Yeah, let's go with it. Call it a disc. So, it's going to take me two hands. And, yeah. So I want to cut those out. And these out. So, stay tuned. So, if one looks, you can see... So this is the capacitor, and these are the two diodes. So, I just cut around them, and that allows them to come right out. And then I could just trim the rest of the board off real carefully. Or, I could just really reduce the amount of board around each connection and desolder it. Once again, I don't have any reason to save this. This um, capacitor, I need to cut. Yeah, I need to cut it down a little, a little deeper on this edge. What you want to do, if you have plenty of space, you don't need to go right up against the component, right? You want to leave yourself plenty of room. By all the holes in the board, I think you're going to be able to guess that recycling this stuff takes just a little bit more uh, attention to detail than just hacking it. These smaller components are a little bit more work to get loose because once you get them loose and you're trying to clean them up, the, um, the Dremel tool likes to grab onto them and chuck them uh, <laughs> over your shoulder and then you got to look around for them. So anyway, I got, the di I got a diode which is what I was after and I got the capacitor that I was after I think I'm also I think I'm gonna take one of these um, larger capacitors out the microfarad is actually lower than the small one but the voltage is is a higher so I'm I'm gonna get one of these also just once again the comment is it's much easier to get the smaller components out than the bigger components no, the bigger comp it's easier to cut the bigger components out than the smaller ones because you can kind of hang on to the components better with your fingers. Obviously, if this thing was in a vise and I was working inside where it wasn't cold, it'd be a lot easier uh, to do this. I'm really kind of putting myself at an advantage. So, if anybody wants to be a cheapo and they have a bunch of boards floating around, a lot of times computer boards easily have you know capacitors and diodes on them whether it's a home computer or whatever else you're after so um, you could also buy these components if you don't want to be Mr. Cheapo but I used to do this a lot when I <laughs> when I was in college and you know going from penny to penny so I just figured I'd get back into it and show you guys what I was up to anyway I really want to thank everyone for dropping by to watch comment and subscribe please remember to keep your fingers keep your feet down your heads up and get out there and enjoy each and every day bye now